What's up guys, it's Eric with Monday Family Man. How you guys doing today? I have reviewed Bluetooth trackers from all over the world. A bunch of them like Tile and Tracker from Silicon Valley. The Pebble Bee from Seattle, Washington. A bunch of them like the Nut 3 or the Mint Tracker from China. And of course the Chipolo from Slovenia. And I've seen a bunch of Kickstarter Indiegogo campaigns from Australia and Canada, but I haven't seen any from anywhere in Europe. Until now! What country you might ask? Can you guys guess where it's from by the product's name? Voila! This tracker is made by a company called Wisticky by Stark. Give yourself a pat on the back if you guys guessed it was made in France. For full disclosure, this product was sent to me for free but this will be an honest review. If you want to see an updated list of pros and cons of this product, there will be a link down below, or you can click this card right here. Also below is a link to Amazon where you can check out the pricing and availability of this product. And if you choose to pick this up, it definitely helps support this channel with no additional cost to you. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. Dun, 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 dun. Voila! All right, here we go. There it is. This is the orange version. It does come in four different colors. The yellow, the purple, the pink, or the orange. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. This doesn't come out. It says user guide slide to open. Oh, here we go. Here's the, the user guide right here. There's the instructions and you can download the app, which they do have an app on Android and iOS. This thing is quite long at two and a half inches. It's one of the longest trackers that I've seen. It's about inch thick and it's definitely not the thinnest tracker I've seen, but it's also not the thickest. Just quickly comparing this to some other trackers on the market, you can see the difference in size. This is the original tile. The thickness is just about the same. But I would actually say the Wisticky is a little bit thicker. It's hard to show you that, but I can feel a little difference. And here's the mint. You can see how much longer it is. And compared to the Tile Mate, this is definitely a lot thicker and definitely a lot longer. Here's the Tile Slim. It's definitely longer than Tile Slim and much, much thicker than Tile Slim. So it's going to be a little difficult to put this into your wallet. Talking about your wallet, they do mention on their website they have some other trackers coming out this year that are designed a little differently, specifically for wallets. Um, the one for your wallet is called the Hopla, and there's also one called the AHA, which is designed or marketed for pets. So it's a little bit smaller than the Vala. Um, but those are not quite out on the market, so definitely stay tuned. Quickly going back to the design, I do like how it has multiple colors, unlike, say, the tile, which only comes in white. Polo comes in multiple colors, the tracker comes in multiple colors, even the Pebble Bee Finder comes in multiple colors, so that way you can tell the difference if you happen to have more than one. As far as weight goes, it is fairly lightweight, nowhere near where the Pebble Bee weighs. Um, Pebble Bee is definitely one of the better designed or better looking trackers, but it's also one of the heavier trackers. This thing is all plastic and there is no access doors or way to change the battery. So this is a non-replaceable battery, but per their website, it does last three years. Um, there's no way for me to test it except for waiting the three years to see if it lasts. So I will be updating the pros and cons list down below. So definitely check that out. So let's go ahead and address the big elephant in the room. If you haven't already, check out the pricing link down below to Amazon. Uh, it currently retails on Amazon for $39.90, which is quite expensive compared to some of the other trackers that I just mentioned that retail from $19 to $29.99. And even the price on their website is astronomical. They have it listed here in US dollars, $55.63. It's quite expensive. I understand they advertise this to last three years on a single battery. Um, so if it does last three years, it could be worth it, um, depending on what features are in here. So let's go ahead and download the app and see if there's any additional features that's in this tracker that's not in any of the other trackers. You just search for Wisticky, go ahead, download it, install it, and then we'll get started. All right, we open it up. Wisticky would like to make your data available to near Bluetooth devices, which I'm going to say okay. 
and there's nothing on that page. Activate Bluetooth, find your things, use the hot and cold tracker, find your smartphone, a tablet, and we're gonna click start. If you don't already have a username and password, you definitely have to set that up. Success, your account has been created. You have to go into your email and verify your email address. Boom, just like that, your account is activated. And we're gonna sign in. And you want to activate these permissions. Your Bluetooth is on. We want to enable your location. And we want to enable notification. And then we're going to hit continue. Sync your first with sticky. So we're going to click on that button. Sync a with sticky. Hold down the button on your with sticky for three seconds until you hear a with sticky sound. Here we go. One, two, there we go. There we go. Put it near your phone. And it seems to be syncing. And the Wistiki needs to update. This process will take less than one minute. We're hit OK. Updated successfully. All right, and you can name your Wistiki. We're just going to name this Keys. Hit Done. And then you have to select which color Wistiki you have. Some other trackers on the market do that automatically for you. So we hit Next. And then you can choose an icon. I'm OK with that. Or you can uh, choose a picture. Icon's fine with me, and the Wistiki is activated. All right, there we go, and I will be blocking this out. It shows where the address that I'm currently at. For some reason, the address disappeared. I'm not quite sure why, but we're gonna go ahead and do a sound test. I do have my sound meter. They advertise the uh, Wistiki will ring at 90 decibels, so we're gonna see if that's true or not. All right, the highest there is 87.4. I'm just gonna quickly turn this over just to see if the other side does any better. So you can see there the highest is 88.7. So not quite 90, but definitely close. When I first saw this online, I thought this color part with this little chip was some type of light. Um, but after testing it, it is not a light at all. I'm not quite sure why you're seeing a chip. Um, it would be really cool if it was some type of light that would light up that, you know, whatever color you got. But unfortunately, it is not. Also, as you ring this, there is a little distance meter right here. So as you move away, the meter gets bigger. And then as you move closer, the meter gets shorter. The ringer only rings for about 10 seconds, which I don't like. I wish it kept ringing. And then once you found your device, you can either push the button right here on the device or on the phone. But for it to keep going off every 10 seconds and you having to push this is kind of an inconvenience. And just like most other Bluetooth trackers, there is a push button, and when you push this, it will ring your phone. So I wanna do a couple tests. First with the app up and running with the volume fully up. And my next test is to put the volume all the way down to the lowest level without putting it on silent. And then give me a try. And as you can see there, it went up to full level. So now what I want to do is put it on silent with the app running and we're going to press the button and it still rings. Let's keep it on silent. Let's turn off the app but keep it running in the background. And as you can see, that now still works. And for my final test, I will be shutting the app down completely. Do realize this is an iPhone 7 Plus and results on a Android could be different. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. And it gives you a little warning that features do not work. Um, but sometimes even with the other apps, you know, like the Tile or Japolo, even though you get that warning, it still works. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. And this does not work. We'll wait like a minute or two. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and double press this or single press. And as you can see, nothing happens. You do need to keep the app up and running in the background for this to be useful. All right, let's go back into the app and see what else there is. All right, you can see it is nearby. It has a little map. I will be blocking out this map just for my privacy. 
And then there's the option to share your sticky with a friend, family member, so they are able to locate it and ring it. And also, if you want to give this away to someone, you can definitely transfer this to another person. Let's go into settings and see what we have. We can customize this really quick. You can rename this or change the photo, change the icon, change the picture, change the color. Or you can go back and turn on the electronic leash um, or the reverse electronic leash, which is like a tether like um, a lot of other trackers might have. So when you do remove this out of the range of your phone, it will ring or vice versa if you have the reverse electronic leash on. So let's go ahead and turn these on and I'm gonna step outside real quick and you guys can see what happens. I am back, let's see if this thing rang. What was that message right there? Nope. It seems like it did not ring, so I will definitely update the pros and cons down below. That seems to be all the settings. Let's see if there's anything else in here. And right, let's see what this is. Found a Wistiki, return a Wistiki to its owner. Uh, you can click on here. Oh, cool. So unlike some, most of these other trackers on the market, you cannot communicate directly to the owner of a Wistiki that you have found. It looks like you can do that here. Uh, which is very cool just in case you need to mail it. From my understanding, this does have a community feature. So if you do happen to lose it, you can activate it and have the community help you find it. Unfortunately, just like with all these other Bluetooth trackers, you're depending on the size of the community. Um, the bigger the community, the better chance that you have of finding your device. Another option you have to find your Wistiki is looking at the map. It does pinpoint the last known or last location that it's connected to. So that way you can go back to that location and see if you get lucky and find it at that place. And then over here you have your account, you have a store, you can have some assistance, some more stuff about the Wistiki, or you can log out. They mentioned it does have a Bluetooth range of up to 100 feet. I will be doing a test in the near future, so if you want to see that video, click right up here. They do mention the Vala is waterproof, it is rain resistant, and can be submerged. Alright guys, let's wrap up this video. I appreciate Wistiki for sending this product out to me. If you guys want to see an updated list of pros and cons, it will be down below, along with an affiliate link if you guys want to check out this product. I do hope they would reduce the price on this. It seems quite high for what it is. If it lasts three years, like they say it can, it might be worth it, um, but that's hard to tell right now. So definitely check out that updated pros and cons list. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And I hope I've earned your subscription. If you're not a subscriber already, definitely check out the subscriber page right here. If you want to be a super subscriber, check out my Patreon page right there. Also, check out these two videos on some other Bluetooth trackers. I appreciate all the love and support. I will see you guys on next video.